Travis Ginger, an Anoka native and owner of Waterstone Fire Tables in Stone Art. You may have recognized that name for something other than his business, but we'll get to that in a bit. So we take all Minnesota rocks and we find these big giant rocks, go get them, hand select them, um, bring them back here, slice them like a loaf of bread on a big giant diamond wire saw. And then from there, we'll polish them down and do burner cutouts and make fire tables with them. And how did this business get started? Got bored one day, found a rock, made a sink. Uh, took a lot of time making this sink. And then from there, I seen this fire rock thing online that was overseas. And I was like, that rock's kind of ugly. We got way better ones around here. But that's kind of like doing the sink without all the work. So we started selling them to our landscape clients. And one thing led to another. And then we got into doing, uh, came up with this fire table thing, this rock fire table thing. and. Basically in 2015, we won the award for design and innovation for best new outdoor hearth product. While 90% of his projects are wildly popular stone fire tables, he also constructs fire and water features and custom stone art. And he ships his creations to clients all over the country. I guess for me, it's, it's something different. When you slice a rock, you never know what's on the inside. Uh, I get a ton of different custom projects now. We're working on splash pads for cities, um, all the way up to school podiums out of rock. Uh, we do a lot of different things, so we kind of do what everyone else doesn't want to do. He also has had his fire tables and water features showcased at the Minnesota State Fair numerous times. Hidden gems. In Minnesota, we have some of the oldest rocks, and they are really unique. This was one of my rare finds. So, or Ely Greenstone Pillow Block Basalt. And what's rare about it is it was one big giant rock. But this rock's 2.7 billion years old. They said, we've got to make tables out of it. This thing's absolutely gorgeous. In addition to being a stone craftsman, Travis is a master pumpkin grower. So, Anoka's obviously the Halloween capital, and we got to have a big pumpkin to go along with that. I currently have the North American record for the largest pumpkin in North America. Uh, also got a couple few Guinness Book of World Records for the largest jack-o'-lantern ever carved. Uh, this year we're hoping to do it again too. He hopes to squash another record with some pumpkin seeds he planted back in April. Named Michael Jordan. It started out basketball round. Like, I was dead convinced this pumpkin was going to be the prettiest pumpkin. And so we were trying to keep all the leaves and whatnot away, make sure it didn't get any scratches because it was just perfectly round, beautiful pumpkin. And now this. <laughs> Grown right here at the shop and uh, needless to say, when I'm not working on rocks, I'm working on the pumpkins. But we'll probably drive it all the way out to California again this year. Right now it estimates around 2,400 pounds, but it could easily go 27, 28 just as easily as it could maybe go 23. But uh, 2702 is the world record. We're thinking that we'll be pretty close to that. Yeah, I mean, the business is good. I mean, it's just a matter of keeping up with the orders and, and cranking them out as they come in. And then future hopes, maybe we'll set a world record pumpkin too, so. We hope to hear those results in time for Halloween, Travis. Good luck.